On the violin and viola, shifting to the third position is introduced first in most methods. The second position is then introduced, followed later by fourth position and fifth position, which will be presented in the advanced shifting movie. The general shifting principles are to keep the fingers in contact with the string while shifting up and down, lightly glide the fingers along the surface of the string when shifting instead of pressing the string down, move the arm as a unit, the thumb shifting with the fingers, and maintain curved finger shape and hand shape through the shift. When shifting to third position, the palm of the hand should gently touch the side of the instrument. Students who do this will develop better intonation and more confidence in their shifting. The pitches played by the left hand in higher positions can be addressed by placing and keeping the hand in a higher position before learning to shift to and from that position, which allows students to get familiar with the notes and spacing in higher positions. Playing a simple three-note song like Eau Claire de Lune is a great way to explore playing in second, third, and fourth positions. There are different types of shifts. Presenting shifts in the following order will help ensure that students are progressing in a logical step-by-step -step sequence. For short shifts, shifting to a reference point on the hand improves accuracy, so one-to-one -one or two-to-two -two are more common ascending shifts than three-to-three -three or four-to-four. -four. Shifting from a low finger number to a high finger number ascending or vice versa when descending is the next most common. The transport finger is the finger on the string before the shift begins. In other words, the low finger number ascending and the high finger number descending. Ghost notes are used as a way to check intonation on the transport finger. The finger glissandos to the new pitch. The most challenging shift is shifting from a higher finger number in a low position to a lower finger number in a high position, or from a low finger number in a high position to a higher finger in a low position. In an ascending shift, the transport finger is the finger used for the note after the shift, in other words, the lower finger number. In a descending shift, transport on the finger before the shift to the new position 
and drop the higher finger number on the string. Consideration also needs to be given to aspects of combining shifting technique with the right hand. If shifting when changing bows, the shift should occur before the bow changes direction. The shift will be much more audible if made after the bow changes direction, which is sometimes used for expressive purposes in solo playing but not typically in orchestral playing. When shifting within a slur, students must shift quickly and silently to avoid an audible glissando. Make sure students are paying attention to bow speed and keep it steady through the shift. There is a tendency for the bow speed to increase during a shift as the right arm attempts to mirror the increased motion of the left arm. When crossing strings during a shift, Place the new finger down on its string before the shift is made. Weight will need to be adjusted in the bow 